Do you know that almost every time Falcon 9 launches it sets a new world record? As of September this year, it had helped SpaceX put about 80% of Earth's total payload mass into orbit, something never seen before. In the later launches, we continued to witness that this rocket shattered its own records. That shows that the evolutionary line of Falcon 9 has never stopped. Yeah, what SpaceX did with the Falcon 9 rocket will shock you. All this and more in today's episode of Tech Map. On November 3, SpaceX's Falcon 9 launch carried 23 Starlink V2 mini satellites into orbit from Space Launch Complex 40 or SLC 40 at Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force, stationed at 8.37 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This launch at first glance is similar to previous launches, except that the vehicle bearing tail number B-1058-18 has flown 18 times by far, marking the 18th recovery for this specific booster. It's an achievement that any reusable vehicle has not gotten before. This successful landing set a new reusability record, helping SpaceX to inch closer to a target of achieving at least 20 uses for each booster in its Falcon 9 Block 5 fleet. B-1058 is the oldest currently flying Falcon 9 booster. It first flew on May 30, 2020, launching former NASA astronauts Bob Behenken and Doe Hurley to the International Space Station on the Demo-2 mission. This was the first flight of the commercial crew program with astronauts on board. SpaceX has since flown seven crew rotation missions up to the orbiting outpost, in addition to two private astronaut missions. Following liftoff, the booster landed on the drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas about eight and a half minutes into the mission. With this launch, SpaceX marked its 79th orbital mission for the year, meaning that there are just 21 launches left to complete its goal of 100 launches this year as Musk set. In the first half of the year alone, SpaceX launched a staggering 43 rockets, including 41 Falcon 9 and two Falcon Heavies. By far, the company had increased the number from 43 to 79 and needed to carry out 21 more launches in the last two months of the year. However, it's safe to say that the target of 100 launches per year seems like quite a challenge at this point, especially within the context the whole company has been affected a lot by the delay of Starship's second launch. After all, no matter whether those 21 launches are completed or not, SpaceX overcame its achievement of 61 launches last year. With the significant increase in launches over each year, SpaceX has now achieved 241 orbital-class rocket landings and reused boosters within its Falcon 9 Block 5 fleet, an astounding 213 times. This has proven that SpaceX is the only company in the world with such an impressive orbital-class rocket reusability record. You know, China is still working on a reusable rocket version of the Long March 9 with a first launch target date of 2040. Blue Origin's only rocket is New Glenn, which will have a reusable first stage and is seen as a potential alternative and competitor to SpaceX's industry-dominating Falcon 9 rocket. But it has not flown yet. Emerging American startups like Rocket Lab, despite having certain achievements, take a long time to catch up with their big brothers, SpaceX. Apart from the booster, the November 3rd task witnessed the reuse of fairing that had previously supported 13 missions. SpaceX tweeted, SpaceX team aboard the recovery vessel Doe in the Atlantic securing a payload fairing half, which has supported 13 missions to date after last night's Starlink launch from Florida. The fairing, a crucial component in closing the payload, contributed significantly to the company's cost-saving efforts. It is no coincidence that this record-breaking event made such a big splash because of its impact not only on the company itself but also on America and the world. First of all, the party that benefits the most is SpaceX itself. By extending the life of rocket components, the company demonstrated significant cost-saving benefits from this activity. Reusing the first stage and payload fairing not only cuts the company's internal launch cost, a figure that is believed to be less than $30 million per Falcon 9 flight, but it also unlocks a higher flight rate without straining the factory. For the fairing alone, reusing it can potentially save the company approximately $6 million per flight, SpaceX officials shared. B-1058's success 
This time underscores SpaceX's commitment to making space travel more cost-effective by reusing key components of the Falcon 9. The cost per launch of a Falcon 9 rocket is currently around $67 million. So if SpaceX can reach the goal of launching each Falcon 9 Block 5 booster 20 times, the price will be lower. This will further enhance SpaceX's competitive advantage in the market. In addition, once the rocket's cost per launch goes down, it means SpaceX can be able to deploy more Starlink satellites and aims for a higher launch cadence. This is very crucial for Elon Musk as he set the goal to send up to 42,000 satellites into space, aiming at SpaceX's goal of global mobile phone service. Half of the active satellites in orbit now belong to SpaceX and Falcon 9's November 3rd launch alone, brought the total number of Starlink satellites launched in 2023 up to 1711. This shows that the goal of 42,000 satellites can become reality if everything goes smoothly. Starlink's global extensive coverage not only benefits SpaceX, but also the United States. National organizations, especially the Space Force, saw the potential of this type of satellite early on when it was used in the battle for Ukraine. Thus, on September 2023, the Pentagon awarded Elon Musk's SpaceX its first confirmed contract for the Starshield network it's developing, which is the military version of Starlink. The agreement between SpaceX and the Pentagon will provide Starshield services through the Starlink satellite network, terminals, auxiliary equipment, network management, and other related services. SpaceX markets the service as the center of an end-to-end, -end, dedicated offering for national security with capabilities distinct from its Starlink consumer and enterprise network. Starshield is expected to be a secret weapon that helps enhance America's military power and position in the world. On the other hand, the sharp increase in Starlink launch activities into space could make United States adversaries such as China extremely worried. For a long time, the Beijing government has been concerned about the risk of militarization of Starlink, threatening the security and safety of this country. For that reason, it has been pushing a project to launch over 12,000 satellites positioned in low Earth orbit to challenge SpaceX's dominance. Although the progress of this project is still unknown, in the current situation, China must certainly consider more options unless it wants to fall behind. From there, we can see how widespread SpaceX's influence is globally. Of course, that success is not due to luck, but is the result of continuous efforts over many years. Both Elon Musk and the Falcon team will never forget the early days of SpaceX. At that time, the United States aerospace industry still relied on Russian technology, even though the country had won against Russia in the 20th century space race. It means a young company, namely SpaceX, had to build everything from scratch, thus failure was a common occurrence for the company by then. Falcon 1, the company's first rocket, kept running into explosions during its tests. These failures even pushed the company to the brink of bankruptcy, but by his determination, Elon revived SpaceX from the death. Gradually, Falcon became fully operational and then caught the eye of a major national agency, NASA. In 2008, NASA awarded the company a $1.6 billion contract to fly cargo to the International Space Station. This is a perfect stepping stone in helping the company achieve the bigger steps afterward. Fast forward to 2023, Falcon has evolved to its ninth version, which is considered a serious competitor in the aerospace industry. In short, to get the achievement like today, SpaceX's Falcon has experienced a long and tough journey. And it's not difficult to understand that SpaceX's second rocket, Starship, also has to go through the same or even more challenges. Starship is a fully reusable rocket line thanks to inheriting the inherent strengths of Falcon plus outstanding improvements that helped it become the world's most powerful rocket ever built and promises to bring Mr. Musk closer to the Mars colonization goal. No matter how long and difficult Starship's journey is, we always believe that with SpaceX's tireless efforts, Starship can one day break new records like Falcon did. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.